In this video, we will look at how to actually multiply fractions. Unlike adding and subtracting fractions, when you're multiplying fractions, you do not need to get a common denominator. Remember that multiplying two numbers is really adding a number to itself a certain number of times. So that means that three times two is really saying we want to add three to itself two times, which of course is six. Multiplying a whole number times a fraction is similar when you add a fraction to itself the whole number of times. As an example, three times one fifth would be one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth, which gets me three fifths. Notice if you write three as three over one times one over five, what you really did is multiply the numerator three times one, which is three, and the denominator is one times five, which is five. So you get the same answer as you did if you think of the repeated addition. This means that multiplying fractions means that you're just multiplying the numerators together and multiplying the denominators. Sometimes then you want to reduce if you want to. Sometimes it helps to with reduction once you reduce prior to multiplying to make the number smaller. So as an example, let's say we take five six and multiply that by seven ninths. I would multiply five times seven in the numerator and six times nine in the denominator. That gives me 35 over top of 54. Since there were no common factors between the numerator and the denominator, then um, this, this won't need to be reduced. As another example, let's say I take six over 16 times 14 over 15. In this case, I do notice there may be some common things happening. So let's write this in a factored form. Six is three times two. I'm sorry, I wanted yeah, you know, for this reason times two. Okay. And 16, you could write them as prime factorization. You could just think of it as four times four. 14 is two times seven. And 15 is three times five. So now what you can do is you can look to see is there anything common? So anything that is, you could divide at the top to a bottom. So I notice that there's a two in the top and a four in the bottom. There's another two in the top with that four in the bottom. So two times two is four, and that four and that four, we can divide those fours out. So we can divide the two times two, which is four in the top, and a four in the bottom, and they would get rid of those fours. I notice I can divide the top by three and the bottom by three, and the threes would also um, simplify away. So now I notice I have a one times seven in the top, or seven in the top, and I have a four times five in the bottom, or 20 in the bottom. Because I went ahead and divided out those common factors before multiplying, this is nice and simplified.